Medical marijuana back up for debate in the North Carolina General Assembly. Our chief political correspondent, Emma Withrow, says the Compassionate Care Act was the first bill filed in the Senate this week. And she dug deeper into the context of the bill and how it might impact farmers in our area. This isn't the Compassionate Care Act's first rodeo in North Carolina. Senator Bill Rabin, a cancer survivor and advocate for medical marijuana, filed and fought for this bill in last year's legislative session. It passed with flying colors and bipartisan support in the state Senate, but was shut down in the House before even making it to a vote. It's hardly a family uh, in the state or in this nation that hasn't been touched uh, at some point uh, by someone who would benefit from, from this bill. Raven's the chairman of the Senate Rules and Operations Committee, which has some serious sway in the General Assembly. He says he'll continue to fight for this bill until it's passed. They want to be law-abiding citizens, and they want the help in their, in their home state. But even if it does pass, Julia Rogers, a local hemp farmer and owner of Blackberry Ridge Farm, says it won't benefit small-scale operations. Job. I do think they need to reconsider how it will affect small businesses and farmers in the, in the state. Um, farming is the, the second highest um, source of income for the state of North Carolina. Um, and I think that they should consider that this could be a, a good source of income for farmers, but the way they have the bill written, it, it is not going to favor um, businesses like ours. Rogers says the bill has already laid out 10 producers that would be allowed to grow and produce medical marijuana, all of which are large corporations. So, Julia, if this bill does pass, would you be able to increase the percentage of THC in any of these products? No, we would not. We would still be beholden to the current state law, which is that the THC has to be below 0.3% in all of our CBD products. Overall, Rogers is supportive of the passage of medical marijuana and understands the benefits. She just wishes lawmakers made the opportunity more open to small family businesses like Black Prairie Ridge Farm. Reporting in Huntersville, Emma Withrow, Queen City News.